All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to teach you a little bit more XML today, uh, just some basic stuff and how to use some of the resources. And if you don't understand all this, that's fine. Uh, you'll you'll get it eventually. Yeah, text is cool. You know, we got this. It's not that awesome though. I want some buttons. So, how do you add a button? This is how you add text. Let's see how you'd add a button. Have any ideas? It's pretty easy. To add a button, you just type button. But let's say we didn't know that. These are some of the things that you can add in XML. So we just want a regular button. So we're going to put a button in. And we're already getting in a, a squiggly line. So basically that means there's an error and it won't run properly. And in XML, you always have to include the ending part to uh, complete your your object in this case a button so we're just going to hit a couple enter a couple times and we're going to hit uh, the end button and get rid of that problem and basically uh, we're going to copy and paste this because we want the button to take up the whole width that's available so we're just going to copy and paste this down here again it fills fills the width to the full and it just wraps the content of the button and uh, let's see what we have I'm just gonna save it go to a graphical layout there's our button pretty cool huh but we want some text just copy again because I'm lazy text uh, we'll just call this the tutorial button or just tutorial that's fun so we're gonna save that we're gonna give it a look all right, that's pretty cool, but you now that tutorial is pretty small. We're going to try and get it to be bold. So, again, we're just going to put the Android. And here's some of the things that you can use. You're going to type in text. And you can kind of look at the other things that you can do. Yeah, we're going to use text size. That's pretty obvious, the size of uh, the text. But we're going to go down to style. We're going to make it bold. If you hit enter, you already have three choices that pop up. So really, you don't have to rem remember too much uh, when you're programming an XML and on Eclipse because it kind of has it for you, which is pretty nice. We're going to hit bold. And then uh, we're also going to change the size of the text. So if you remember, text size. And basically how you define the text size is by pixels. So we're going to do like 25 pixels, which is PX. So we're going to save that and look at it. That's pretty nice. But uh, basically the problem with this is when you define something by pixels, you don't know what the screen size is of the phone that you're running it on. Because 25 pixels on a screen that's only 50 pixels, which is a really small screen, so that probably won't happen, but that would take up half of the whole screen. Obviously, there's no screen that small, but uh, basically what you can do is you can change this to make it a ratio. And to do that, it's DP. So that's kind of a ratio, so it's kind of the same on each phone, same size, uh, according to the screen size. So you can do that, and then there we go. There's a button. Pretty easy. Okay, let's say we don't want this stuff all off to the side, to the left like this. Let's say we want this off to the center. And this is one of those uh, codes that might not be common sense. And what basically what it what we want to change to get it in the center is called gravity. So just remember that when you're trying to change the layout of the text or a button, whatever you want. We're going to save that and hopefully it'll work. See, we have that one in the center, which is pretty nice. All right. Um, these are just some of the common factors of XML. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, you can figure it out by, again, just seeing what they have available by this. Or um, you can type Android and then you can see what uh, functions it has. But basically what's going on is you have a linear layout. Like I said, it's a column. 
orientation, we can change this to horizontal or vertical. If it's horizontal, that'll create a row. So we'd have a little bit different layout. Um, you can't see it because it's off the screen. Because remember, we set this as taking up this whole width. If you wanted to do a horizontal one, you'd have to do something like wrap content here. See, then you can display the next one. And the next one's over here, the next one's over here. So here's just some of the common factors. Obviously, we won't want to have the vertical, or we have a vertical orientation, so we can see all of what we have, have done on the screen. And you can change this to um, a few different things, uh, such as relative layout, table layout, um, or a scroll view, I believe the last one is. And the scroll view is probably what we're going to be using when there's items off the screen like that. You know, I'll get into that later. It's not too important for right now. Uh, basically, what I want to to show you is uh, how we can reference this image that we imported earlier. You want to do that in your linear layout because even though you don't see the linear layout on the screen, when I click here, it shows that this is the linear layout in the XML. Yeah, it takes up the whole screen because we filled the parent from for the width and for the height. So basically this class defines the whole screen and within the screen we have the buttons, the text, all this stuff but see the linear layout ends here so it's all within that area. So it's kind of basic, um, it's an easy concept to get. If you don't find it easy that's fine. It After you use it a couple times you'll find it pretty easy. But basically I want to change uh, the background of the linear layout which is the full screen to that image that we imported so I'm just gonna wing it let's see uh, what do we got here is there something called background let's try that yeah backgrounds right there and again uh, if we don't know how to reference it I don't know if they'll pull this up yeah we're gonna go through the drawable and the drawable will pick up all three of these files um, and basically I did look this up. Basically, this is the high density, uh, medium density, and low density. So, if you want, you can change or you can add this same file to all three and uh, have a lower quality image for phones that don't have high density screen resolution. And it automat it automatically pick the one that fits the phone best. Um, but I'm just going to go drawable, and we obviously have it named this. So we're going to go um, drawable, and again, it referenced it by the at symbol. But we're going to go corn boys, background, dot jpeg. And then save it. Hopefully this will work. Okay, we aren't getting anything uh, to show that it's referencing that image right now. But basically, this should be working. So we're going to... We're going to run this application on the emulator that you should have already had loaded from a couple tutorials ago. Now it's actually fully functional and when you load it, it won't take as long. So we're going to go back to our tutorial, run as Android application, and then we just pull. See, and I'm getting an error message right here. Um, there's no drawable corn boys background JPEG. I think, I'm not for sure, but I'm not sure if you have to include the JPEG. Yeah, you don't have to include the, the .jpg. It'll automatically find it, and I think that's what the problem was. So now when we run this, it should automatically come up. It should automatically run our application onto the emulator. And down here in the progress, it says starting activity. And here we go. It actually shows our background that we created. Shows this. We might want to change the text. I'm going to let you figure that out, how to do that. Again, it's pretty easy. And this is uh, this is a button. And when you it's clickable. And But basically, it doesn't do anything right now. 
we're going to have to define what it does in the actual JavaScript. Um, right now, this is all XML. 